Welcome everyone, I'm Lauren Cortizo and this is Musicians Wanted. Today we're entering the vibrant Boston music scene with Art Decade. This is Lauren Cortiza with you here on Musicians Wanted. Welcome to our first episode of the season. Today we're introducing you to the fun and fresh band, Art Decade. These playful Boston gents have just released their new album, Western Sunrise, on May 29th of this past year. Tonight, these dreamy guys have created songs with dreamy names that we will be fortunate enough to not just dream about hearing. So let's meet the guys, Abe on guitar and vocals, Ben also on guitar and vocals, Jamie on drums, Joe on guitar and piano, and Benoit on bass. So without further ado, here they are with the first song, A Lie.
precious as I try to be, I know that no one cares. That was so good. But where did all of this start? Our field correspondent, Bree Baxter, sat down with the guys to talk past, present, and future. What's going on, Bree? Hey everyone, I'm Brianna Baxter here at Q Division Studios to interview the band Art Decade. Art Decade is a group of Berkeley students creating music that's wise beyond their years. The band has been through quite a journey to get to where they are with two EPs, one full-length album, and another in the works. So let's head on into their studio to see what they're all about. Follow me. I went to Berkeley in 2008, um, and I met Ben in October, and uh, Ben really struck me as someone who had similar interests, we're both into bands and we're both into a bunch of weird music. They're a keyboard player, the guy was um, playing key keys with them and moved to New York, and um, kind of just filled with this slot playing keys and a little bit of guitar. He told me about uh, the band that he started in high school and how he was looking for members to join so we could start it back up again. And uh, that's how I got involved with the whole project. Where where we we all meet? I don't know. We're all like kind of like radiohead. We're all big radiohead fans, like Sigur Rós and that kind of thing. For the first ten years of my life, I never really knew about bands or anything. It was all classical music, just because of the house that I grew up in. You know, once I found records and stuff like that, it was just immediately the Beatles and you know David Bowie. And being young, I was into like some punk music and stuff like that. One, the big challenge for this record is being our own boss. We don't have anyone to answer to, and therefore um, we are conscious that you know we can let our imagination run wild. You know, it's like when you have a producer to fall back on, or not fall back on, but someone to ask questions. You know, it's like you don't have to trust yourself so much. Well, we're all extremely capable of directing a musical moment. And just. I don't know, it takes a bit of discipline to like to self-produce as a band, but we we're all like pretty nitpicky. Now it's like this is a totally different experience and it's a lot more exciting in many ways because it's totally on us and if there is something wrong with it, you know, there's really no one to blame but ourselves. I guess it's it's more of a, um, a relaxed process now. So far we haven't had anything that's slowed us down, which is really awesome. It's, I think it's a culmination of this attitude that Ben and, and I and the rest of the band kind of share together. We sort of are able to do more subtle things than we used to be able to do. This is like our vacation. This isn't work. This is when we finally get to play and express ourselves. It's not about us changing really. It's about what we want to do and our decisions, how they're going to change. So we've gotten to know the band and we've seen how the changes they've gone through have evolved their sound. And later on, we're going to take a look at how those things have influenced some of their newer work. But until then, back to Lauren in the studio.
Now let's welcome back Art Decade with their second performance with us titled Walking Together. Take it away, guys. has recently been in the studio hard at work on their latest album. Art Decade has a lot ahead of them looking to the future, so let's check back in with Brie Baxter to see what's new. Art Decade has faced a few bumps in the road, but the group has channeled those things into creating their music. So let's see how where they've been has influenced where they're going. So I know for a fact that I'm going to make music for the rest of my life. Whether it's in this band or another project, that far into the future because it's, it's, uh, it's not something I can answer. I hope I'm with this band for a while because I love the musicians I'm playing with currently and I really am after a certain sound that I haven't gotten quite yet and I feel like only through experience and a lot of time am I going to be able to get that sound. So I haven't quite found what I'm looking for, if you will. And we're all on big radio and singing roast and that kind of thing so it's kind of like dabbling with like the, I, I hate using, throwing around the term indie rock, but it's kind of like, it's kind of where it's at right now. I think that we have a dynamic now where it's not so much about roles or about um, 
concrete ideas. It's more about the possibilities that everyone has and how we're able to, uh, I guess, sort of pick and choose between them for the songs. So it's not about us changing, really. It's about what we want to do and our decisions, how they're going to change. Ben and Benoit are like the main songwriters. Mostly Ben um, will bring like the, the blueprint to the band and then we'll kind of sculpt it, we'll kind of fill it in together, you know? But um, you know, usually like I'm the last person to hear it, so, so I usually am like the fresh ear after they've worked on it a bit um, to kind of just help them with like the finishing touches. So that's kind of been the dynamic that we've been working with. I see us, you know, really not necessarily changing very much in who we are, more so changing the way we work with each other or changing the goals that we set with each other. I always like to track basics for records, which is just drums and bass or maybe scratch guitar or something like that. You know, as live as possible, facing each other, interacting with each other as though it's like a real performance, as opposed to me sitting in a control room playing the scratch guitar, not looking at the drummer, not interacting. Because what you're recording is a moment in time that is just a reflection of who you are in that very second. And if there's no like human interaction, it's not going to be as genuine of a expression. So I feel like it's extremely important to, you know, get in the studio, interact with each other, get angry at each other, be happy with each other, you know, be ecstatic about what you're doing, be scared about what you're doing, because all of that is just going to enhance your art, because the more real emotion you have, you know, the better off you are. So we've seen how Art Decade has honed in on their sound as new members have been added, and if you're interested in hearing more of that sound, be sure to stay tuned for their new album coming out next summer, or you can always check them out playing live at a venue in and around Boston. Welcome back to Musicians Wanted. With their third performance of the evening singing Western Sunrise, let's hear it for Art Decade.
I sat down with these handsome guys to have a little heart to heart about life. Let's see what dirt I found. Hey guys, we are here in the studio with Boston based band Art Decade. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Of course. Cool. Can you guys introduce yourselves and let us know what instrument you guys play? My name is Ben. I play guitar, I sing in the band. I'm Benode. I play bass. I'm Joe. I play guitar and keyboards. I'm Abe. I play guitar and sing. And I'm Jamie. I play drums. So where does the name Art Decade come from? It comes from a David Bowie album called Low. Uh, back when Ben started the band in high school, it was under a different name, and he decided to change it. So his friend, out of nowhere, was like, why don't you call it Art Decade? And, and that's the name of the band. Nice. So how did you guys all meet and form a band? We all met in Boston through school, just local music scene. So what are your biggest musical influences? <laughs> or who, I would say? You know, just David Bowie, Beatles, Elliot Smith, John Bryan, yeah. uh, Brian Eno, a lot of classical music too. I, I personally grew up on like a strict classical diet. Jamie played in a, a symphony orchestra for a while. Um, so definitely like going back to that. How about we talk about what it's like being a band? Um, so how have you guys grown as a band over the last couple of years? Musical chemistry is a really interesting and intricate and amazing thing. And it's, it's really hard to describe what it does, but uh, it's, it's incredibly elating. And uh, it's also you know incredible driving, motivating factor to progress, to be better, uh, to, to see how far we can take things. So I think it's just the, the joy and the, the, the wonder that we get from playing with each other and really hearing our ideas come to life that makes us grow. You guys talked about dreaming in one of your songs. What is the craziest dream you've ever had? Whenever we have like a, like a big show or like a really important event, I always have these like stage performance anxiety dreams, always. Every night mm -hmm. before, it's like I'm sta I can see myself standing on the stage and like my guitar neck will just like evaporate or just everything will just go drastically wrong. I have a reoccurring mm -hmm. dream where Benoit is, is dressed up as a clown and he's chasing me around with a machete. <laughs> and I just keep running and running. It just never stops. So what do you guys see yourselves doing in the future? What's, what's up next? We're doing a Northeast tour a uh, few days uh, down the uh, East Coast in December. Mm -hmm. We're making plans to go to the South by Southwest Music Festival uh, in March in Austin, Texas. So you guys are currently recording an album, correct? Mm -hmm. That's true. Can you guys tell me a little bit about it? Well, I think this time around, and I was just having this conversation with Abe this morning, is that, you know, when you go into making an album, you have this kind of picture in your head of like, what it's going to be completely. And this time around, as opposed to really going into it thinking about what we want it to be, we really know, we really have a clear picture of what we don't want it to be. And, you know, sometimes that's a, a better, sometimes, sometimes that's a better way of going into a, like an artistic endeavor. Uh, this time around, it's, I really hope it's going to be perceived as much more mature. It's going to be quite a bit more organic, less progressive. You know, more of the singer-songwriter type influences, like producers like John Bryan and people like Elliot Smith and Sufjan Stevens and stuff like that. Um, mixed with, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty heavy on the orchestral side, as the last record was as well. But it's going to be more tasteful in that area too. It's not going to be overdone. But um, we've only been in the studio for two days now, so we'll see. <laughs> well, thank you guys again so much for being here. It's been great. And let's head right back into the studio. All right, it's just about that time. Thanks for chilling with us here at Musicians Wanted. I'm Lauren Cortizo signing off on behalf of Art Decade. It has been super delicious. Let's let the guys bring it on home with their last sassy little number, Raspberry Universe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.
three.